This client was referred to me as a color correction. Watch how we use her existing color to create this beautiful look. Okay, so my client went home and colored her hair. I actually have never done her hair before. She was a referral to correct her color. She has very like copper, red, brown all over. And it actually is a really, really good color on her, but it's just too much all over. So we're gonna go through and do a correction. We're going to blend her roots in and do a shadow root. We're not gonna drop it down too far. And then we're gonna go through and do some blonde balayage to kind of break up the red or copper tone. It's actually a really good color and the color actually turned out pretty good. So um, we're gonna work with it instead of try to you know, change it totally. So we're gonna start with a root shadow. Yesterday when I went to the beauty supply store and I bought colors that I thought might be something that we need to color her hair, I didn't know what her natural level was and how light it was. So I'm gonna mix these colors together. I know that comes across kind of backwards, but when you look at it, you're like, why would you mix those three levels together? And it's because I kind of need a combination to create like the perfect level that will hopefully blend with her hair. We're not really wanna go ash. We just wanna cool it down. So I have to add a little bit of ash to counteract the warmth. We just don't, we don't wanna cool it down too much and look muddy. So these are what I'm gonna mix with. I always like starting my root shadows and color melts and all that stuff at the nape of the neck. It's just better for not having to pin the hair up at the top of the head and then possibly getting the ends squished into the root color and then getting color where I don't want it. So I apply the roots at the nape of the neck and then I just kind of swipe down so that way there's not like a harsh line of roots and it just kind of blends through the ends a little bit better. Then we comb through the ends. That way it kind of helps blend any lines that there might be and drags the color just slightly to give it a better melted look. I get to the crown area I usually tend to drag the color down a little bit further because it looks a little bit more natural and subtle looking so just kind of swipe down in certain areas for a little bit more dimension through the ends. Try to apply the color in kind of a teardrop shape where it drops down a little bit further in the back and then higher towards the hairline in the front. That will automatically give you more brightness around the front of the face and the hairline, which is where clients want to see the lightest hair anyways. So I always try to follow a teardrop shape and you can see I'm not really going down very far at all around the front. I'm just barely tapping the roots and then as I get towards the back, that's where I start dropping it down a little bit further. Make sure you take your time when you get to the very top of the part area and right around the front of the bangs. You really want to be careful that you don't apply too much color and create too much darkness there. 
So once we're done here, we'll, we will repeat it on the other side and then let this process and then go through and start applying our lightener. Also, look how cute my client is. Doesn't she look like the littlest Natalie Portman look like? I swear, she's just like her little twin. She's so cute. And if you don't know who Natalie Portman is because you're young, here's a little clip. Okay, now that I'm done talking about Natalie Portman, so we're gonna go through and do some balayage on my client and we're gonna do a high-low pattern. So we're doing it higher on her hairline because that's where everybody wants their brightness. And then we're gonna drop it down lower for the next section, then higher, then lower, and so on and so forth until we get to the other side where it meets higher on our hairline again. And this is just gonna create a little bit of areas of brightness just really subtle to give it some dimension, but still have an overall darker appearance. All right, I'm really happy with how the roots turned out. It's a really soft, subtle color that blends really nicely into her ends. It cooled it down a lot at the roots, but she still has a nice, warm overall appearance. She wanted to still be kind of caramel, but just not copper like she was before. And then you can see where the balayage was that we had done. It's just really soft and subtle, not really heavy, just kind of gives it some really pretty highlights throughout. And here's her before picture again, her video, super bright and coppery, just a little bit too much for her. And then she was so happy with her color. I'm glad she left loving her hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.